everyone, Amber Michelle here, and today I'm finally doing my update video post op from my sterilization surgery. I got my tubes removed on June 6, um, June 6, 2017, at 7:30 a.m. approximately, and today it is July 12th. So it's been a little about five weeks or so now, so a little bit over a month since I had the procedure. I do like to remind you guys that along with that procedure, I also had done, um, I had a, well, I had a self injectomy, which was getting my fallopian tubes removed so that I could remain child free and um, wouldn't have to worry about getting, becoming pregnant. Um, I also had a Novasure endometrial ablation um, so that I hopefully don't have any more periods. Um, but I'll that's another video that I'll talk more about that, um, perhaps at another time. And I also had a, um, Lupron Depot shot for helping manage the symptoms, uh, from the endometriosis. So I do like to throw it out there just so you know that my experience might be different than yours if you're just getting sterilized, um, and not these other things, you might have a slightly different experience, but I feel like the healing time stuff specifically to the wound, incision wounds and to the surgery will probably be similar. And so I'm just here to share my experience with you for those of you out there who might, I know I was scared to have it done. Um, so yeah, I thought it might be helpful just to kind of hear someone else's experience and to put it into perspective. So that's all I can share is my experience and the knowledge that I've learned along the way about it from that. So that being said, also, I have my glasses on today and my hair is a little bit, anyway, I just thought I'd switch it up a little bit. I'm just trying a little different look just to see how it feels. I'm not committing to it necessarily. I still have my contacts, um, too right now, but I've considered maybe keeping my hair kind of short and switching to, to my hair short in glasses or growing my hair out and doing no glasses or something in between. But anyway, moving on to the, to the subject of the video. Um, so yeah, it's been about five weeks since I've had the procedure done. And right now I still have the three incision wounds on my stomach. I'm not going to show them to you because I'm not comfortable with that. Ugh, let me not hit my head. But I've got one by my belly button and then I have two down kind of like on the side here. They're all very small. Um, and the glue, I had this Dermamon glue that they put on the wounds. I think I talked about that in the last video. Um, but the glue that I had on them, uh, finally came off. I came off the two side ones on its own and the one in my belly button it came off pretty much but kind of got stuck in there so I kind of had to like take a q-tip and very very gently making sure that there was no pain kind of removed the debris that was stuck inside my belly button. Sorry if that sounds gross but I'm just trying to be real with you guys um, about the experience and um so now that that's done, um, the middle one in my belly button is a little bit tender from under the glue, but there has been no bleeding or anything like that. And I can tell it is healing. It's on the way out. Um, I'm just being mindful about like in my yoga practice, if I do like Cobra and stuff like that, that's on the stomach to kind of maybe modify that or just skip that pose altogether and do like a bridge pose for my back bend instead or something like that. But just kind of really being aware of my body and, and what feels right to me there. Uh, aside from that, um, I don't have any pain anymore at all from it, which is really good. Um, I feel like my recovery has been pretty good, uh, but I've also been really, you know, following the directions and even in the shower, just very careful. Like I haven't even used bronze or soap on it, I just use water because um, I didn't want anything that could get it, possibly get it infected. Um, Fortunately and unfortunately, my doctor did put gave me an antibiotic in my IV when I went in, which I'm not a fan of antibiotics, but I do understand that in this circumstance, he probably gave it to me to help avoid having any reactions to the stitches or any infections. Um, so I've been having infections, although I did have a like soy yogurt with probiotics yesterday. I'm gonna start, now that it's starting to heal up, start trying to get a little more probiotics back into my system to kind of help balance that out from the antibiotics so that I can maintain a um, healthy microbiome. Um, but I mean, I've been, I am really thankful that I, 
even though I don't like antibiotics, I'm kind of thankful that he did that because I've heard stories of other people maybe could get infected or what have you, and mine didn't. Of course, I also was super careful and diligent about trying to wash it correctly, patting it dry with a separate towel, not even the same one I cleaned myself with in the shower, but I cleaned my body with a completely separate towel just for that for a while. And now I'm starting to get a little more relaxed with it, but I'm still being mindful about what I do. And, um, you know, the recovery has been, you know, I knew it was going to take a while. The doctor said about six weeks or so for the incisions to go away. Um, and they are on their way out. Um, I'm hoping that I don't have too much scarring. Uh, although if I get one in the, my belly bun, I kind of don't mind if that one stays because it's really small and it's just like a little reminder that I did this and that I'm not going to have any babies. So to me, that's like a good thing. But anyway, um, what else can I share? The first few weeks, like that first week was really rough, like I said in the other video. And the second week, you know, like I was not teaching yoga from a chair anymore, thank goodness, but I was um, still not, you know, I wasn't necessarily demonstrating all the postures and my own practice was still very modified. Sun salutations were rough. Sun salutations are still a little rough and that might be psychological. Um, with the cobra pose and uh, some of those back bends on your stomach. Now, some of that might just be in my head, some of it, but it does feel a little tender. And whether it's in my head or it's actually in my body, you know, I feel that like yoga is meant to be a loving practice and an enjoyable practice for your body. So, I, you know, I don't do anything that doesn't feel right to me. At the same time, I have gotten back to doing HIIT training and I've been able to do like weightlifting and even like a core workout today and I just was on my back instead of my stomach and I was able to do like bicycles and and some planks because you're not actually on your stomach there and uh just some different things like that to get that going again um but yeah I mean the second week try to I'm trying to do this while I still remember it fairly clear in my head but the second week was um I was very limited I wasn't doing hit yet again or like doing weightlifting or anything yet I was just like taking walks and stuff like that the second week um and doing some gentle light yoga and then around the third or fourth I want to say it was like by the fourth week I think it was like last week or so that I started actually like lifting weights again and doing regular like high intensity interval training workouts and stuff like that um so it's just been recent that i've kind of started to get back into about the last week week and a half something like that and even then i'm still mindful about what i do to make sure that it feels okay but i've been all right to do most of my regular activities i'm feeling more like myself again my energy is um feeling more normal although that could be to do some lifestyle choices and kind of improving my own routine and stuff like that as well um but yeah, I think that it also has to do with your, you know, like if you're eating healthy food, if you're getting enough sleep, if you're doing, you know, exercise, that's appropriate for you to do at the time post-op. Don't go rushing into it right away. But you know, if you're living a, doing a living healthy lifestyle, I, I really do believe that that helps to um, improve your healing time. But it is, you know, you it, it is going to take a while for it to get better, uh, you know, you just have to be patient. Um, but you know, by, you know, I would say I was back to like being functional again within a week or so and back to really being myself again within about a month. Am I still a hundred percent? I don't know. That's kind of a relative term, but I feel like I'm getting pretty close to hundred percent again. I, I mean, I'm definitely going back to my normal life without difficulties at this point. Um, and without him to take like any pain meds or anything like that. As far as pain meds go, um, I'm going to wrap this up because it's getting long. But as far as pain meds go, I took the Percocets for, I think the first, let's see, it was Tuesday, Wednesday. I skipped it on Thursday because I'm weird. Friday, Saturday was the last day I took them. So I took it for about five days, but I took one day where I just didn't take them. and just took ibuprofen and slept all day. But that was a really bad day. Don't, don't do that. Um... So about five days that I did the, took the prescription Percocets, and then after that I was on IV, regular doses of ibuprofen, taking it, you know, like a few times a day or so 
for probably about a week or so after that. I maybe could have stopped that then before that, but I also am cautious, especially when I'm out. I don't want to be teaching a class and then all of a sudden like feel in pain and then be distracted from my job. Um, so, you know, I just felt it was necessary, I think for about a week or so after that, but now I'm not even doing that. I mean, I'll take ibuprofen sometimes, but that's more like if I have a headache or some soreness or whatever, but uh, not related to the surgery. So anyway, sorry if this was a bit rambly. I'm just kind of talking to you like I talked to a friend here, trying to, even though I'm in front of a camera and it's kind of weird. Um, but you know, I just wanted to share this. If you have any other questions, please, please feel free to comment below or I'm Amber Michelle on Facebook. You can follow me on Facebook or Instagram or any of those things. You can send me a private message as well and I'll be more than happy to answer those questions as best I can and talk to you more about my experience or any concerns or anything that you might have uh, regarding the surgery. But right now having it past me I'm so glad to have it over with. Not gonna lie but at the same time like every day I wake up with this sigh of relief that I don't have to worry about that anymore. That's one problem that's crossed off my list. I have a solution to the birth control issue and know that no matter where I'm at, what country I'm in, what the government's doing, anything, what my healthcare plan is, whatever, regardless of anything else, I'm covered and my child right to be child free and to, um, to just not worry about having children anymore is protected. And that kind of peace of mind, it's just priceless. And so I, at this point, I, so far, so far, I'm very glad that I've done this procedure. So anyway, hope this helped. Hope this gave you some insight. Sorry if it was long, um, but I'm gonna get off here and go edit this video. Peace.